Hey, this is Thomas Novosel at Orbit Above Games, and I'm here to discuss things uh, concerning the project that we're working on called MMM. Or some people like to just go, mmm. 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 Like it's a good food. Alright, so I guess I'll get right into it. Uh, I'm Thomas Novosel. I've been uh, working on this project for many months now. Uh, almost, almost nine, I think. And uh, it's gone through many different iterations. It's gone through iterations where it had tables and where it had all this other kinds of crazy, complicated rules. But then we ended up getting back to where it was. <sighs> and that is that it is a rules-like game. That the rules themselves are supposed to be easy to know, easy to use, but addictive to play. So there's enough advancement and comp complexity that people get addicted to it, but overall you're able to, you don't feel bad, like you've wasted your whole entire life on a character just filling out papers, like stat sheets and stuff. So I guess the first thing I want to get to is... Uh, the universe. Um, pretty much the universe is like this. There are giants, and then there's humans. Giants are really old, they've been around forever, and they have all the magic. Now, they uh, they do speak the same language, so they both speak common, so they are able to talk to one another. However, the humans see them as barbaric and as more of a uh, hunter's trophy, or kind of like something you can hunt and then be proud of showing off. Now, this brings me over to the human side. Um, the humans, they, they're they a little bloodthirsty and power hungry. But overall, they want to make their own lives better. Now, now that I've drawn this awesome diagram for everyone to see, um, I'd like to go into more detail. Giants have, they're the ancient caretakers. They've been around since the gods were around. Like, when gods were being born, giants were still older. Um, but they are, they're not, they're mortal creatures. No one knows how long they'll live, but they are able to be killed. Um, some of them, they, they vary, just like humans. They're smart ones, there's clumsy ones, there's creative ones, and then there's crazy, bloodthirsty, evil ones. But one thing is for certain, giants hold all the magical artifacts, and tombs, and or tomes, and uh, weapons, stuff like that. They have all the power. They have it all, but they don't use it most of the time. Now humans, they want to be able to use it, so they go out, they start slaying giants, and then giants have they've been doing this for tons of time and giants their numbers are starting to dwindle down because they don't procreate really no one knows if they do or not but it seems that either giants are procreating underground where no one can find them or they're learning to fly or something because the number of giants on the planet are getting lower and lower and lower and their magical items are getting worth more and more and more as they get sold on the black market and in all these other different places now humans, there are certain humans that uh, look to giants as barbaric and like uh, like just these things that the world needs to be rid of because they're freaks of nature. When in uh, human society, there is also the kind that see what the humans are doing wrong, that humans are killing something that hasn't really threatened them before. They're just going out and slaying for more power. 
slay, loot, and repeat. That's what humans do, pretty much. Um, however, the humans also want to make their own life better, so they kind of turn a turn a turn a blind eye to it or something, and uh, they just don't pay attention. They don't pay attention to the the giant hunters. They just they just babble amongst their little social groups. Now, this brings me to the next part, which is uh, just one second. Magic. You know that stuff that spews fireballs and stuff. But uh, magic is very important in this game. It is, I mean, it's one of the three stats there are in the rules. So magic pretty much defines a character. Your ability to read it, your ability to use it. Any human character, uh, you're defined by your knowledge of magic, pretty much. And that defines what your magical capabilities are and abilities. Uh, you can see a warrior who knows how to use simple magic to increase the deadliness of his blade. Um, now, what's very important is that, uh, there, there are certain goals to having magic in this game, and that is, uh, uh, create awesome loot to, uh, let's see, what else is there? I know there's a bunch of other ones, but that's one of the main ones, is to create loot. Another one is to create something that the humans want to get. So, want versus need uh, to get more powerful. And it sparks conflict, obviously, because they're fighting each other for it. The giants for their own survival, and the humans to gain more power. Now, magic in this world is very uh, very old and ancient. People are able to read it because it's written in a familiar language that everyone knows. The, everyone's core language, the common language, is rooted from this ancient language. Now, magic pretty much defines a character. Like, it helps define a character. It's one of the three stats. Again, it's one of the three stats. I mean, if you, you're one of your three stats is really low and you're not good with magic, then you boost your mental and your might stats so that you're stronger and faster thinking. Now, magic is important. You can't memorize spells uh, because everything requires regents, like, uh, or re reagents, or however it's pronounced. I know how it's spelled, though. Um, pretty much, you want to be able to have the ability to use these powerful spells, but they require large amounts of space, like m many scrolls. You're able to remember them, but you can't recite them from memory and still have the power. You get the power from the writings, which is why the writings cannot be duplicated. Magical items cannot be duplicated. That's why there's fakes in the market. They're like, oh yes, you can, uh, you can, you can buy this magical potion or this magic spell that I've written. Um, it, it works fine, but you can't test it here. Don't want you to destroy the whole village. Go out in the desert and test it, but you gotta pay first. No. That, that's pretty much how it is. I mean, the magic, you can't remember it. It takes up inventory space, and it's very important that magic in this game was handled this way, because we wanted to have it so... That magic is an integral part to a character. It defines some characters. But also that magic is tied to the power of the size of the book. Uh, the deadliness of the written incantations and what you use to use the magic. Uh, that being said, magical items are very valuable because they can't be duplicated. Um, and I guess... That's all I have to say for magic. If there's any questions, again, leave comments or likes or whatever, and I'll answer them. Um, let's move on to the next part, which is uh, rules light. 
this game is going to be rules light. It's definitely rules light already. Um, there's the the character sheet. You pretty much could make one off of like a one fourth of a piece of paper without even writing that much. There's three stats, four if you count health, and then there's inventory. That's it. That's literally it. I mean, it's so easy that uh, you play one session, you could be guided along and clued in within two minutes on how to play. It's, it's supposed to be able to be taught while playing, so you don't have to slow down or anything. You can just teach while playing. That it's like you just jump into it and be like, oh, have you ever done acting before? Oh, yeah, I've done acting before. Oh, well, you're going to love this game because you're able to play it, and it's pretty much acting with some rules. It's supposed to be easy to jump into, easy to play, and even easier to understand. Now, it's that's just it. I don't want to give away too many of the rules, because that defeats the purpose of having the playtest and everything. Um, and finally, inventory. Inventory... <sighs> Inventory and loot are very important things. Inventory, we use this special unique system of not using weights but item sizes uh, in such a way that uh, your inventory helps define the character. But it's not like you're going to have hundreds of items. No, you're limited to a select number of spaces. And different items take up different amounts of spaces, but if you have an item that takes up more space, it generally is more powerful, you hope. And then you have to rearrange your loot and see, you have to fight in your head, like, do I want to be able to cast this spell or do I want food for the next few days? It's like, the spell makes food, but it takes up more space than the actual food, so... Inventory is very big. It plays into the magic, it plays into the combat, it plays into stats. It plays into role-playing. It, it's literally an integral part. It's what we've been focusing on the most, that's been revised the most. Um, but inventory has pretty much remained similar throughout all iterations. We have tried to make it so that it is very, very easy to pick up and understand because you have the visual of it. We've made this awesome character sheet. You can find it on RPG now. I'll leave a link in the description below. But uh, it pretty much goes over. Like, you can see it. It's, it's visual. It's a visually aided character sheet. It tells you how many spaces you have, what kind of spaces you have, because certain items can only go in certain spaces. Like, you can't fit a, a piano in your backpack. I mean, that's that's obviously greatly exaggerated. But, like, you can't fit an, a great axe in your backpack. No. You can fit, like, four bottles of potions, and that takes up all the space. But you can't fit a piano or a great axe. It just doesn't work that way. So it's actually... I think it's actually a pretty good system. Um, I've had some comments on it before, and they think... And I have talked to people about it, and they think it's, it's like, Wow, that's pretty awesome! Or, Wow, that's pretty cool! I mean, most things start with pretty and then end with a cool word, so... I'm doing something right, right? Alright, well... That is all I have for time for today. I'm going to leave a post in our website. Again, I'll leave the description in the, bo in the box below. Or whatever. So, I guess... Have a good time. And please check out MMM. Uh, it's going to be an awesome game when it's released. We're going to release the playtest packet 10-17-2014. So, look, it at, look out for it, because it's going to happen. It's like, at least most of the playtest materials will be released over that. All the, all the playtest materials will be released over the weekend, but they'll start s streaming out on 10-17. So, that's Friday, for anyone who doesn't understand numbers. But then again, you guys are all role players, right? So you understand numbers perfectly well. All right, so I guess that's it. I'll just leave. Uh... Yeah, that's it. All right, so this was Thomas Novus Orbit Above Games, and I hope you enjoyed this little video. All right, bye.